welcome to the wood shop here at my northern every day um doing a video a bit of an update i think the last time i posted i had an unboxing of the sergey belov knives and i told you that i would come back with a bit of a review well here are the knives they are at my bench so uh, i have easy access to them but they have been great knives and i do recommend them um I have no affiliation with the tool maker by any means, but a really awesome quality tool. Um, check him out on Instagram at Tools. And the last carving that I posted, I believe was the screen. There it is there. Um, I had a bit of a background when I posted it. And I got a bit inspired by the paintings and I wanted to check out some dally works. And so I found one, the persistence of memory, of course. And I carved this one. And this is out of a single piece of basswood. Sort of started with a block like this, obviously a little bit smaller, but um, yeah, I have a couple of tips on how to carve something like this. It wasn't very difficult. Um, I just found at the beginning that I really needed to sketch things out, as you'll see shortly, and uh, make some cuts to reduce the amount of carving I actually had to do. But once uh, I got things down to size, it was really just uh, reducing some of the wood to make the, the clocks pop out and I'm um, sort of carving out the branch. So I have a short video I'm gonna show. Um, I'm just gonna go through a couple of the steps while I was carving this, and I will see you shortly. There's another look at it. We'll talk about the paint after the uh, carving itself. All right, see you shortly. I usually start my carving with a quick sketch on the block just so it, well, it sort of helps me visualize what I'm going to carve. So here I've sort of placed the area where I want the box to be and sort of sketched out the clocks roughly. Um, my sketches aren't the best, but they give me an idea of the material that I have to remove. Um, you can see that I'm sort of marking up above the clock and I'm marking a line and that will give me enough material so I can actually carve and detail the clock later on. Um, I'm also sketching out the area where the clock on the branch is going to be. Um, there's the finished version. So I'm just sort of marking out that chunk that's going to be coming out of the top or the tree that's going to be growing out of the box or whatever it is. It's neat though. <laughs> um, going back to grab a saw and I think I'm going to show you the areas where I'm going to make my first cuts. So that whole block I can take out and then there's a lower part that I'm going to need to do on the side to expose the um, the branch up top with the other hanging clock because that branch needs to be hanging over the block. So um, I'm just taking a look at the area or the angle of the branch and I notice that it's probably not going to work out the way I want it to so I'm going to have to change the angle. And I'm going to realize that very shortly here. Um, it's always good to sort of sketch things out and visualize it, stare at the block for a bit and figure out how things are going to work out before you make the cuts because it will be too late if you make the cuts and then figure out the problem afterwards, obviously. So there I've changed my angle. And uh, there's a little X up top that marks what I'm going to have to cut out. Probably more of a triangle now than a, uh, than a rectangle. So I'll cut that area down. And then I'll be able to start uh, shaving out the branch and uh, leveling out the box and stuff. There's a lot of material 
to remove on this project. And I'm just putting in a couple of other lines. Looks pretty messy, but it always does. I use my tablet sometimes for the pictures of uh, things that I want to carve. In this case, it was a Salvador Dali painting. Putting on my mesh glove. I like to use the mesh glove because it allows me uh, sometimes to use my fingers as safety stops. Um, something you can't do when you don't use a glove or a uh, even if you use one of the uh, carving gloves like I have on my right hand there, you still can't use it as a safety spot because it's pretty easy to go through. Um, and the glove also allows me to take risks that I normally wouldn't take. Um, here I'm just using some palm chisels to uh, level out the box a bit and remove material. Sometimes I find it easier than uh, using a knife but all hand tools here and just sort of you can see I'm rounding out uh, looks like the clock on the top a bit and trying to expose that branch. I'll eventually take out that step on the bottom as well on all the sides so there would be a uh, you, while you're carving you would have a step on the front and the side where the branch sort of leans over. I made a stop cut around the clock on the front here and so a uh, really deep cut and then I just sort of work around and shave off the wood. Do a uh, pretty fine blade uh, comes to a tip, allows me to, to get really close to the, uh, the border of the clock. And so I just sort of shave it up and make sure that I don't have any deep cuts underneath the clock there. And I'm just sort of cutting off the uh, shavings as I go. Just make sure that you don't go so quickly that you shave off the uh, clock on the front. That would be a pretty big mistake. And I'm doing some shop vacuuming in the background. I like to leave the area relatively clean when I'm uh, curving, otherwise I tend to lose things. But in the image that you're seeing here, um, I'm starting to work down a bit and you can see the roundness of the clock forming up top. But basically for this curving, all you really have to do is to cut off the block bits that you need and just to curve the others down like you would normally do another curving and here you're just dealing with circular clocks so it's not like it's anything too extreme. Um, starting to expose the branches a bit um, of course I'll point those off and make them skinnier as I determine the size of the melting clock on the branch You'll also see that I need to work the clock back to expose the end of the branch as well. But uh, clock on top, clock on the side, and a clock on the branch now. And you just slowly curve away. Um, yeah, I must say this would have taken me about uh, five days roughly two to three hours a day. There's the finished portion. And uh, looked pretty good. Still had to do some sanding and some cleaning up there, but uh, yeah. Welcome back. I hope you enjoyed the tips that were shared in the little video there. We're trying out a new format, so I don't have the long uh, 20 minute one with all the text. As for the painting, it was painted in acrylic and finished in a spray lacquer. Um, my wife obviously helped with this one. She's the artist in the fa family. Um, so, uh, there we are, the finished product. Definitely give this one a try. It is not as hard as it seems and you'll actually enjoy it. Just remember when you're cutting from the block, um, you're gonna have to cut this side down and cut this side down to get this branch 
sort of pop out the way it should. All right. Have a wonderful day and thanks for tuning in. Bye.